everybody welcome back to the she shed today's tutorial is going to be on my Inca inspired poncho here's a close-up now this poncho is literally a massive big rectangle with a hole in it for your head and I will walk you through the whole thing it is really really simple to do um, I put a border around the head and another one around the neck in a very similar but not the same color just to give it a little bit of definition and it is made from a half double crochet it is really easy the yarn that I used I'm not going to do the tutorial in the same colors but I am going to use the same yarn and the yarn is two yarns that we are going to be using together what I used is the acrylic Black Friday hobby yarn this is 100% acrylic and it is made in India and I believe this is 350 meters. The other yarn to give it the color is the ice yarn which is mohair and I believe it is 70% mohair and 30% acrylic. Now I'm not going to tell you the needle size because it's irrelevant. We're putting the two together and what I found worked for me is a 7mm hook. I will be you doing the starting chain however with my 8mm hook. This um, then means that you're not going to have a very tight chain and it'll keep your work looking even. So let's get started. Okay, so get your 8mm hook and do a slip knot and you are going to be chaining 130 stitches. When you have chained your 130 stitches, swap over your hook to your 7mm, chain 1 and then turn your work so that you will be working in the back of the stitch into that loop on the back so the front is that V at the front there the back turning over are all the loops you can see on the back we are going to be working into the back of the loop it makes a much neater finish a nice edge so we want to miss your chain one the first stitch and we want to go into the back of the loop there so we're going to be doing a half double crochet now in every stitch every stitch from now on so it's yarn over go into the back of that loop grab your yarn pull it through grab your yarn pull through the three so yarn over into the back of that stitch into that loop there grab your yarn pull it through grab your yarn pull through the three on the hook Now you need to be careful that you are getting both of the yarn. So you can see I've got the gray and the purpley pinky one. So make sure you've got both. If you miss one, you're gonna get little loops and you're gonna have to undo and go back and retrieve it. Um, so just be mindful, always keeping an eye that you've got both yarns on the hook. I'm going to work the rest of this off camera and I will meet you back here at the end of this row. When you have finished that row, chain one, turn your work and now you are going to be doing a half double crochet in every single stitch from now onwards. So this is now row two, chain over, no, yarn over and you'll see you're going into the very very first stitch. So go into that stitch, bring your yarn through, yarn over, through all three on the hook. Yarn over, into that stitch, bring your yarn through, yarn over and through the three on the hook. I'm going to work the rest of this off camera. I'll meet you back at the end of the row, 
just to show you how to do a really really nice neat finish to the end of each row the last couple of stitches so second last one now your last one is going to be in the chain that you created on the previous row always into the chain so what you're looking for you're going to do a half double crochet into there so yarn over and then you're looking for the V on the front the loop on the back and you're going in between those so the V on the front the loop on the back bring your yarn through yarn over through all three on the hook and that will leave you with a very straight neat edge then you chain one turn and you're always doing your work into the very very first stitch and then continue your next row half double crochets all the way along remembering to finish off your row into that very very last stitch that chain stitch that you did at the beginning of the row you will be repeating this for 70 rows I'm going to work my 70 rows off camera I think you would get incredibly bored if you had to watch me do 70 rows that would be the ultimate slow TV so I will work this off camera and I will meet you back here when you've got finished your 70th row and and then we'll work on the head now we have finished our 70 rows we now need to do the neck the neck is super simple all we need to do is count 50 stitches from one end 50 stitches from the other end and what we have in the middle is left which should be 26 stitches is the neck so let's count the 52 stitches on this side Fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two. now on the next stitch put in your stitch marker let's turn this around and count the next 52 stitches fifty fifty one fifty two get your next stitch marker and place in the next stitch and what we should have left are the twenty six stitches for your neck if you would like a bigger neck shift your stitch markers down if you require a smaller head obviously shift your stitch markers in this is a very simple basic pattern and this is free size so you can adjust it to suit you however it will fit best from here what we're doing is now continuing so go back to where you finished off and start your next row as normal so chain one turn your work and continue with your half double crochets and you are going to continue these uh, got myself all tangled and you are going to continue your half double crochet until you have got to your first stitch marker on this row stop before you get to your stitch marker because that's your first stitch of your neck and then what you need to do is chain the same amount of stitches that you left in your neck so for me it is 26 stitches for you if you're following along with me 26 or whatever you adjusted this to for your neck size so chain your 26 so you've got your 26 in your chain and then we're going to join that into the stitch past the stitch marker we're going to just continue crocheting as normal so doing your half double which can be very tricky on this one because you've got to put your yarn over there we go and then just continue the to the end of the row in your half double crochets So 
At the end of this row you're going to chain one, turn and continue with your half double crochet as normal till you get to the chain. Now we are at the chain and what we need to do is work each stitch in the back of the sti each stitch on the chain. So you see how you've got the V at the front and you've got the loop in the back. Now this is exactly the same way that you started off this garment. So we did each stitch in the back of the loop. So you need to do your half double crochet in the back and if it's if you can try and position it like I have so the loops are facing you, it makes it a little bit easier. It's probably the most trickiest part of this whole garment. So yarn over and going into the back of the loop, go yarn, hook into the loop, grab your yarn, pull it through, grab your yarn and pull through the three on the hook. So you're doing a half double crochet like normal and we're doing in the back of each loop. So just keep going. Once you have put your half double crochet in all your chains in your neck, that is your neck finished. And we continue with our half double crochets all the way to the end. At this stage you can also remove your stitch markers. And besides adding a border, that is your neck done. So very simple. So finish to the end. Now at the end of that row, chain one, turn your work, and we're going to continue half double crocheting for the next 69 rows. You've already done row one with your neck, so that was the first row, and now you've just got another 69 rows, and that is the body of the uh, poncho done. Then meet me back here after your 70 rows in total for this side and I will show you how we do the border. So here is the shawl finished. Well, nearly finished. You could leave it like this if you want to but I am going to put on a border. Now I've shown you it like this because I can't fit it on the table to show you. There we go. So I'm going to show you how to do the border for this. It's a very, very simple basic border. You do not have to do this, but if you would like to, keep watching. Okay, so the colours that I'm going to be using for the border is a much darker grey with the same left, still got a bit left over of the mohair. However, I don't have the same brand for the dark, dark grey. Um, so as you know, I was using the Black Friday hobby and I don't have the grey that I need for this. So I'm using a different brand. Uh, this is from Lingcraft. It's just a double knit acrylic and hopefully it's the same size and um, should do have the exact same effect. Okay, I got my yarn sorted out and we're going to do a slip knot and find your neck. Okay, so it's very large. <laughs> and I work from the edge. So I don't work from the back or the front because if you want to keep that n the join hidden, um, any um, tails or anything at the side is going to hide it much better than if you did it in the middle plus the front and the back you're not going to know which one is which because it's supposed to be exactly the same so go to the edge and find the first stitch in grab your yarn pull it through just do a chain okay and then next stitch yarn over and just do your half double crochets like you normally have and do them in every single stitch you can see there. So every hole, every stitch, you're just placing a half double crochet in each one. Work your way around the whole neck. 
in your half double crochets and I'm going to meet you back at the end of this round. When you have come back to the beginning of the round, your next row is just going to continue going around, but this time you're doing a single crochet. So just go into that first stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, and then grab your yarn and pull through the two. Into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through, grab your yarn, pull through the two on the hook. And keep repeating this all the way around. So this next row is single crochet only. When you get back to the beginning of this round, you've finished your neck. So just drop off your balls and slip stitch into the next stitch pull your yarn through, pull it straight through and that all we need to do now is sew in the tail for your neck cut off the end and there is your neck finished and as you can see it's just very subtle very very subtle now there is no reason why you can't make it bigger if you want to or even continue all the way up and make it into a roll neck you can do that if you like for me I just wanted a really subtle neck and there we go so let's do exactly the same thing around the border it doesn't really matter where you start your border but what I would suggest is that you go near a corner and come in a few stitches it makes it a lot easier to do your corners when um, when you've started a little further away don't start your stitch in your corner got a slip knot on my hook I'm going to pick a stitch along the bottom here just go straight into the stitch bring a yarn in and pull it through and then I'm going to start with the next stitch and do half double crochet and keep half double crochets all the way around and when I get to the corner you can see I'm at the corner now and I'm going to do two half double crochets in this corner stitch then I'm going to chain two then I'm going to do another two half double crochets in this same corner stitch then I'm going to continue up the side here now for doing your stitches up the side you will see you've got the ridges so there's one row and there's the second row so it looks a bit like hills and valleys so there's the top and there's the bottom and there's the top and there's the bottom so on and so forth so you want to aim to put your border stitch one above that row so right on the edge and then you can see the next one needs to go in this row the next one's going up above this row and the next one is in this row now you will get into the rhythm of it but I say stop periodically and make sure you've lined them up right you can get a little bit carried away and then you'll find that you've got two stitches in one of the, one of the rows end of the rows and it's going to make your edge look very uneven so this is probably one of the most trickiest parts of this poncho and that's not tricky at all <laughs> so just be mindful and then double check that yep I've got them all in the right spot as I've been going along yep 
and just continue going. So I'm going to meet you at the next corner. So I'll finish this um, side border. When you have finished that side and you come to the corner, do the same as what you did for the other corner. So in that corner, you're going to do two half double, cro half double crochets, then chain two, then in the same corner, another two half double crochets. And there you go, you've created your corner. So you should be on the bottom row now and you just need to do a half double crochet in every single stitch around that bottom row. Do your corner again, then do your stitches in every single end of the row along the side. Do your next corner and then you should be able to continue along the other side at the bottom and do and I will meet you up where you've marry up to where you started okay so just remember when you get to the corner in that corner stitch you're doing two half double crochets chain two and then two half double crochets okay I will meet you back at where you started at the beginning when you have come to the end of your round and met up with the beginning, we're going to do the next round with single crochets just like you did for your neck. So your next stitch is going to be single crochet and keep doing this until you've come to the corner. Now when you've come to the corner you need to do a single crochet into between those two stitches you did originally and then a, you need to do two single crochets in this gap here. Then you need to do two chains and then two single crochet. Now you need to do a single crochet in between those original two double crochets you did before in that corner and then continue with your single crochets all the way along the next edge which should be your long edge down the side when you get to the corner remember you do a stitch in that double crochet two in the stitch beforehand then do two singles chain two and then two singles all in the same stitch then go in between those two half double crochets from the previous row and continue going around with your single crochets and keep doing that on each corner and I will meet you back at the end of this round where you started off at the end of this round we have finished doing our crocheting now so we just need to cut off the balls here we go and slip stitch into the next stitch bring a yarn through yarn and all the way through and pull all right now we need to sew in our ends so I've been sewing my ends as I've been going so I've only got these two left to sew in
and there we go we are finished and you can see the contrast there between the slightly darker to the grey there it is finished and you can see the subtle border uh, how dark just subtle okay and there we are finished and I hope you have enjoyed making this Inca inspired poncho if you do make this yourself I'd love to see a photo please drop me a line either Facebook you can message me you can go to Instagram which is at lucky underscore platypus one you can even go to my website www.luckyplatypus.com.au I'd love to see what yours has turned out like Otherwise, everybody, thank you so much for following along. Have a fantastic day, and hopefully I'll see you again at the She Shed sometime very soon. Bye, everyone.